Good morning from Colorado Custom Coachworks. Today is a very exciting day. You're going to meet someone uh, new who uh, swung by to uh, help out with the build. Uh, here's the update. Eric is uh, putting together the, uh, this is going to be a table. I think I mentioned before, but this is going to be a chess table. Uh, we're inserting a chess table into the table. It's also going to go under my bench seats. <laughs> but uh, I just pulled the trigger on a thing of wood here. Uh, these are uh, vinyl floors. As you can see, they're multicolored. This isn't the exciting part yet. The exciting part's coming up. Check out what's going on over here. Looks like this thing just came out of the, uh, the sander. Um, Eric got the belt sander up and running today, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is one of the countertops. Well, actually, this is one that the sink and the um, uh, stove top are going into over here. What, how many grit is this thing? Right now, we're doing 80 grit, and then uh, the second round will be 120. Okay. And then I'll take it down to another 180 with the disc Yeah, awesome, awesome. So it's just getting out all the imperfections. Uh, the glue marks are going to come out. And uh, it's going to smooth it all out, I'm guessing, too, right? Make it more level? Yeah, even everything out of the Cool. <laughs> awesome. Without the dust collector, we're uh, having to do a little, uh, yeah. a little more hands on. <laughs> right, now, while Eric was out, uh, or actually, sorry, while we were out and Eric was working, myself and Reed, who you haven't met Reed yet, but Reed is a Hello. hilarious dude. Uh, <laughs> big personality. So... Reed is a contractor, and Reed came by to help, and so we just went, we got a bunch of uh, tiles, and uh, we're going we're gonna to tackle the bathroom. Uh, and also, Reed, tell, shower. tell us a little bit about your situation. Why did you come by here? So, uh, actually, my wife and I, about a year ago, started talking about uh, just selling everything and uh, hitting the road uh, in a... Not necessarily an RV, but a, a converted bus. Yep. So uh, we kind of tabled the idea, got busy with work, got busy with life, and next thing you know, it's a year later, and we're still just doing the same thing that we were yesterday. Yep. And, so, and you noticed I was in town, and you swung by, and now you're here. She started seeing, uh, well, I showed her some of the videos, actually it was uh, your videos and also Mike's videos, and I said, this is the kind of bus, she cried actually when I told her we were going to live in a bus. <laughs> and she forgot about the conversation. But then I cried, started, cried out of happiness, right? No, it was crying out of, you know, fear. <laughs> but I showed her some of uh, the videos of the, uh, of the stuff you guys have built, and she's like, oh, well, I could do that. So uh, we started watching, and the next thing you know, I see you guys are down here at Color Custom uh, work, uh, Coach Works, and I said, it, it was meant to be. Yep, So absolutely. So we're still in our house, I'm buying a bus. And I'm here helping you. We're going to put this uh, shower together. Yep. And now, and so in exchange, I'm going to help Reed try to find a good bus, a good engine, a good drivetrain. And he actually might come in here yep. and build the bus uh, in the space. So yep. I appreciate everything you're doing for me, man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks. Eric, what's going on over here? Adding a uh, chunk of uh, an additional piece on the end for the uh, thickness of the whole so, so rather than having a full inch and a half thick countertop, this way we're actually, most of it is just the three quarter thickness, but mm -hmm. we add this to the end and then it looks like it's one bigger, thicker slab. So. Yeah, so this is uh, looking at it from upside down. Yeah. And uh, this will be the part where you kind of bump up next to what, you know, while you're you know, looking at it or, you know, uh, you know, doing something on the sink or whatever. So I was just adding a... Just adding an extra thick layer, which actually matches up perfectly well. Yeah. Looks like it was the same piece and you just cut it off or something like that, huh? Uh, no, just found one that was pretty close. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. So this has been run through the belt sander a couple times. This is the bottom side, like we said. So this is uh, totally and completely smooth on this side. Um, afterwards, we'll take a crack at it with some of these sanding discs. We got all the way 80, all the way up to uh, 220, I believe. Uh, I don't think we got the 320, but yeah, 220. Um, so yeah, we are just moving right along here. 
Meanwhile, Reed is inside uh, with a noisy machine, and uh, <laughs> we're just kind of straightening out some of the uh, the wood pieces. We're nice and flush. We got some uh, foam backer board over there, not concrete. We got foam, guys. Uh, if anybody's in construction, you know what this stuff is. It's basically just same as a uh, cement board, but just lighter. There were things on the first bus that I always told myself. I said, you know, on bus number two, I will not make that mistake. Well, guess what, guys? On bus number three, I will not make the mistake of not running wires before we install everything, because this was a real pain in the butt. I drilled a hole through the two by four. Couldn't, then I realized there's no way I could fish it through. So then I drew, uh, drilled a hole saw, pulled it through there, and then I said to myself, wait a second, I, I bet I can fish it through. And so that's what I did. As a result, I fished it through. So I'll just take that hole, put it back on with some glue. Got one of those somewhere? Sorry? Two by six. Oh, two by six. Do we have a two by six? Two by six there, and then we're going to do the uh, plywood, plywood top on top there. And then uh, we can probably drill the hole for the drain. Cool. Excellent. We'll put the, put the pan together. The only thing is when we're, I, I'm going to have to go on the bottom and let you know if that's a clear space, because sometimes there's ribs every so often. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll I just measure, welcome to the bus life. We'll measure from the, the frame. Excellent. I'll do that. Cool. So, about electrical and wires. There was a video that came out today, I think it was us doing uh, some wiring. Um, so besides, you know, this part here, <laughs> just to be clear, Michael and Badge both told me a million times, maybe even 1.5 million times, 1 million times. They said, run the wires, run the wires, run the wires, run the wires, and then foam. But I didn't do that, just to be clear. Because I know some people are like, why didn't you should have you should have done this and you should have done that and you're right I should have I didn't bus number three I totally will so just to clarify I was told multiple times and I didn't do it next up I don't know where I drilled the hole because it's a little bit hard to see oh okay so I drilled the hole right there if you can see that pinhole yep you can look at the monitor right where the X is I'm gonna make a hole saw and that's where the drain will be so I had to crawl under the bus because there's there's metal ribs every so often um, so yeah, the water, I have a slight tilt towards the front in the bus, so that's why the drain hole is going to go right there. Reed threw me under the bus here and uh, made this little mark, and uh, <laughs> we're going to cut that out. But beforehand, he was also saying that by putting shims there, he could get the water to drain towards wherever he wants. So, awesome. Just a slight curve. There we go. That's all you need sometimes, folks. Just a slight curve. So this is what happens when you let people borrow your tools and <laughs> you shouldn't let borrow your tools. What's that? Some Garbage. Of oh, some of the stuff on there? Yeah. Yes. I like clean tools. <laughs> clean tools work better. Yes. So, uh, Reed explained that this mastic stuff, uh, for all the builders, you already know this, so, uh, for people like me who don't really know a lot about building stuff, uh, basically it has a consistency of peanut butter and, um, so yeah, so this is going to be fun to watch this whole process. It's like uh, cream cheese on your bagel there, buddy. Exactly. Where, where's, the, where's the locks? <laughs> Interesting. So all I'm really doing, and this is uh, not typical of this. This is something basically I knew would work for this application. Uh, some guys in construction will be looking at this and cringing. However, as you so eloquently put it earlier today, Jax, is going to be going through a, a constant uh, earthquake. Yeah, permanent, this is a, a, we are constructing for a permanent earthquake. So when this stuff dries, uh, is it completely rock hard or is it no. kind of uh, soft and... It's, it's, it's a little rubbery. Not okay. Totally rubbery. It's a little rubbery. Yep. And what's the common use for this? Uh, bathrooms. Okay. Kitchen backsplashes. Interesting. Uh, showers. Yep. It's a. Uh, you know, some guys like using thin set. And uh, this shower pan will outlive you. <laughs> That I can pretty much guarantee. Nice. Well, you gotta sign the. Uh, we have a um, uh, a time capsule. You gotta you gotta sign it and be a part of it. Okay. On the uh, the back wall. So. All right. 
And actually, Mike's going to come by too, so we're going to have, uh, uh, we'll have to have him sign it too. Oh, by the way, breaking news, Mike Navigation Nowhere is coming by. Uh, for all the trolls, I really apologize. We are still friends. So everything is good between us for every all the other normal people, as you know, uh, you know, yeah, we coming by and um, Reed is actually excited to uh, see Mike's bus. Um, that was one of the inspirational buses that he found on the internet for uh, getting first, getting first, rid of his house. Yeah, the first one my wife found. Really? That just like, oh, I could do this. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she found it on Pinterest, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because he's he's uh, he's definitely has a Pinterest uh, quality bus. Cool. So he just cut that out and inset it right in there. What's up, Jamie? Hey, brother. What's going on over there in the world of uh, air uh, hammer drill <laughs> rivets or whatever? Well, we just uh, finished up the last uh, rub rails and we're waiting on the transition. Then we'll be ready to start finishing off the uh, skinning. Badass, man. You guys have been working hard. It's, I, uh, it is hard work. Yeah, <laughs> I, I admire what you guys do. I don't know how to do that stuff yet. Well, so. I'm learning. <laughs> All right, you so. Doing a shower pan in there? Doing a shower pan. Yeah. Nice. Bit of a... You're doing it right. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've done a few. And... Yep, so it looks like he's just scraping out some... Uh, uh, mastic. Yeah, some of the mastic stuff, putting in the, the shims there. Um, and that's that's for extra support or just for yeah, shape or kind of shape and, and okay. just guide. Yep, gotcha. Just to kind of as this stuff uh, settles and cures to kind of train it to go in that direction, yes. huh? Gotcha. I have never seen this in person before. I know there's people out there that have, and I know there's people that haven't. Probably more that haven't than have. What are you doing to this thing right now? So all I'm doing, I'm doing what they call back buttering. Or from a tiling standpoint. I want to make sure that every single square inch of this is covered, whereas my pan is every square inch is covered. So when I push Yo, it Mike. down... Yes! Mike. Mike's back! Mike's up. Yo! I just had to break the news to the trolls. About what? We're still friends. Well, of course we're still friends. <laughs> I, do, I, I haven't had service in four weeks. Oh, I'm sorry dang, to dude. everyone. Four yeah, weeks. I'm still doing it. Oh, it. nice. He's still good. going. Yeah, uh, no. Awesome. So, uh, come on in and uh, yeah, meet Reed. Sure. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, in a nutshell, you are making it so all the surface area matches and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Awesome. Mike. <laughs> Nice to meet you. you too. Mike, what do you think about my bus so far, buddy? Dude, I saw one, one story since I've been gone, and uh, it was literally like a week ago, so you already had, I guess, the roof in and stuff, and I was like, dude, I gotta come back down when I'm heading east, because yeah. I'm heading east, which I guess people might know by the time I Kind of. There. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, it's coming along, huh? We got a kitchen. We're going to do a pull-out 12-volt uh, fridge, Dometic. Nice. Uh, safe, uh, space saving. Yeah. Uh, we got a European-style uh, cooktop. Yep. Sink right there. It's going to be a nice square one. Yep. Uh, bath. Does this look familiar to yours? Oh, uh, it looks pretty close. <laughs> but it totally works. Yep. Uh, we got, I got all the lights in. Yeah. Uh, little closet area here like we talked about. That looks good. Nice. Uh, this thing's going to be on uh, piano hinge and yeah. going up and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Oh, dude, you got to sign the wall. This is my time capsule. I'm signing the wall. <laughs> so, to you guys out there in 2100... Uh, <laughs> this bus is going to last that long. I know. I know. Someone, someone at some point is going to do a remodel and see all that, uh, everybody's signatures and stuff. So you got to, I'd yeah. love for you to be a part of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hug, dude. yeah for sure. Hey, man. Man. <laughs> I know. I, fortunately, it's like coming through and then heading east. Yeah. Uh, either way, it's still good because. Yeah. You, know, you made some money? Yeah. Yeah. It was a good project. Yeah. Nice. I got all through. So everything kind of. Everything worked out, and you know, plans for the future that are still happening, which I will tell you, but not you. Yeah, I know, uh, I know, are, are totally happening. So. Which I might be interested in that next summer. Yeah, that's the only hint you get. <laughs> it's gonna be plans are in the works, and everyone, if anyone follows me on Instagram or something, you will know that I haven't told you anything. There you go. Absolutely nothing. Oh, uh, Reed's gonna throw me under the bus again, and uh, he is done back buttering here. It looks like uh, a really fancy piece of uh, uh, toast with honey that I got in San Francisco this one time. True story. Yeah.